Hey folks, welcome back. I'm Dave and we're here in my shop where I build E-War guitars. And this is the final episode of my entry into the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021. I finally got it done. Man, I, was, I didn't know if I was going to make it there at the end. I mean, I was really hustling at the end. Anyway, the guitar is all done and my video is all done too. All I got to do is uh, video this little intro for the thing and, uh, and I'll be done. I'll upload it to YouTube and I can go to bed tonight and know that I'm finished. Anyway, I took, uh, I took the guitar down a couple days ago, downtown Mobile, to a great little music store called Mobtown Music. And my buddy down there, Caleb Murph, did just a phenomenal uh, playthrough for me on the guitar. And I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed being a part of this competition. I kind of jumped in. I was hesitant in the beginning. I jumped in at the last minute and decided to do it. And I'm really glad I did. Um, it was a fun thing to be involved in, and I wa watched a lot of just amazing guitars get built. There's just a lot of beautiful guitars that are part of this competition. And I'm just glad that I could throw my hat in the ring with them all, too. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the video. I've enjoyed doing it. I've enjoyed uh, talking back and forth with some of you folks. It's been a really cool experience for me. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy it. Sit back, relax, and I, I hope you dig it. We'll catch you all later. I've got a piece of buckeye burl right here, which I've never used before. I thought a competition is probably a good, good place to uh, try out new stuff. Try to experiment a little bit and see what I could do. And this is a two before that was taken out of a house that was constructed in uh, 1897. So that's a very old chunk of wood right there. It's just beautiful. It was, and it's, it's heavy and hard as a rock. And uh, uh, I planed off two sides of it. It looks really pretty. Nice looking piece of wood. I think I'm gonna make the uh, neck out of that. I laid out the neck on it. I still haven't made the neck template, but uh, just to give a visual for this, uh, and I wanted to see it for myself, and I think it's really cool. I got about a little bigger than three eighths of an inch uh, all the way up on the side, so the, the, these are following really nicely with the taper of the neck, and I'm really pleased with that.
Let's see what it looks like on the bottom. Yep, see it's got the darker blue all the way at the bottom. Then I got this lighter blue swirly looking stuff on top. I think that looks pretty cool. Well, good morning, folks. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Mobile, Alabama. I got my door open over there, letting in some fresh air. And another month from now in Mobile, it's not—it's going to be way too hot to keep that door open. But for now, it's a beautiful time of the year here in the morning. And uh, I'm going to keep the door open for today. While I'm in here doing what I love to do, which is messing with these things right here. Anyway, so yesterday I spent drilling and routing and cutting and shaping and... Uh, uh, Cutting my control cavities, got the neck fit in here real tight yesterday. And I did all that first to prepare to uh, start carving on this body today, which I'm gonna be doing in a little bit.
Hey guys, welcome back. I'm David and we're here in my shop where I build E-War guitars. And uh, this guitar right here is going to be my entry into the Great Guitar Build-Off 2021. And uh, I'm doing the scratch build competition. And uh, this is going to be episode number nine of me building this guitar. So it's coming along pretty cool so far. I've got around uh, 15 coats of uh, true oil on this so far. And I'll probably do two or three or four more before I then buff it down with some uh, 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 4-0 steel wool. And I'm going to hit it with a little microcrystalline wax, which should give it a really nice satiny kind of machine to it. But anyway, I think it's coming along good. You know, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, like I said, I'll try to get some pictures of the headstock and everything in there. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, this video is going to be about me finishing this thing. Okay, so uh, I've got this body completely shaped and sanded just the way I wanted to do it. I've got the relief carving done here and I've got it curved down here. And it's been completely sanded. I've sanded everywhere from I started with, well, I started with 80 and I worked my way up to 320. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead while I'm letting this thing uh, set up for a few days, let this uh, finish cure out, I'm going to go ahead and work on the frets right now. So the first step in doing that <clears throat> is I want to check my fretboard for straightness. So I've got this notched, uh, got this notched straight edge and I am high just a little bit right in the middle. And you can see I got a light back here I like to use too. Um, that allows me to really see clearly uh, any gaps of daylight in between this straight edge. So anyway, I've got a bit of a hump in the neck right now. Not too bad, but just enough I got to do something about it. <laughs> Okay, now for some of the final assembly work. I think I will go ahead and start with the tuners. I'm going to clean out these holes, all the residue and junk that got down in there. Of course, I'm running my bit in reverse. <laughs> 